2021 has been a pretty peculiar year. For one, we're all still stuck at home because of the COVID-19 virus. But it's also one of the reasons why the gaming industry has boomed. There's more and more people taking the dive into gaming and it's absolutely the best time to do it. There are so many amazing titles coming out. Now, if you're one of those who'd like to take the dive as well, you may have already come across the three newest and most popular consoles in the market. The PS5, the Xbox Series X, and the Nintendo Switch. And you may have also wondered to yourself, which console system should I buy? Which one is the best fit for me? Well, today we'll walk you through some of the best features of each console to help you make your decision. Let's get started. The first category will be hardware and graphics. If you're big on the best hardware and the most high-end graphics in the market, then you might wanna consider the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. Both consoles feature cutting edge graphics and processing hardware that allows you to play most of the newest games on the market. This means 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. The audio for both systems is nothing to scoff at as well. The Xbox Series X features surround sound from Dolby Atmos. And meanwhile, the PS5 has its own 360 reality audio feature. This 3D audio deploys timed effects that stimulate your brain into pinpointing the precise location of each sound. This means that you could possibly even tell how far away a raindrop is when you're in the game. Both consoles also feature huge storage spaces to store all your favorite games. The Xbox Series X comes with a brilliant one terabyte solid state drive or SSD, so you'll have plenty of space to use off the bat. The PS5 also has an inbuilt space of about 600 plus gigabytes, but you can also install a compatible SSD into the system to increase your storage space. Compared to all of these amazing features, the Nintendo Switch is a little lacking as it only runs games at a resolution of 720p or 1080p. It only has an inbuilt storage space of 32 gigabytes and you can increase your storage space with an SD card, but most Switch games don't really take up much space. So think about one to 15 gigabytes per game. But where the Switch truly shines is the various modes of play it's able to offer and the portability among many other things, which we'll touch on in a bit. I'll say this up front. The PS5 and the Xbox Series X are primarily meant to be home consoles. Because many of the various features they offer, they tend to be pretty big and heavy. You generally can't bring them around. That being said, the PS5 does offer a remote play feature that allows you to play your games remotely from your computer or your phone. There is some button input delay for certain games, making it a little hard to play them. The Switch is definitely the most versatile out of them all, as it literally does what its name says, switches. With its smaller size, you can bring about a more portable system, or if you want to play it at home, you can simply just dock it in and the game will play right to your TV. The Switch's Joy-Cons are detachable, and they can also work as individual controllers. There's even a small kickstand at the back of the Switch, so you can prop this up on a table, hand a Joy-Con to your friend, and there you have it. A quick tabletop system for a casual game between friends. So at this stage, it's fair to consider for yourself. Are you someone who likes the full home console experience, or are you the type that likes to bring their games on the go, but still want the flexibility of being able to play it on your TV at home? Now we're on to the most important part, the games. If you're familiar with Sony, you'll know that the PlayStation line is chocked full of amazing one-player exclusives. And you'll still have access to games like Marvel's Spider-Man, Bloodborne, Final Fantasy VII Remake, because the PS5 does feature back playability for most PS4 games. So you can definitely play your PS4 games on the PS5. 
What's even more exciting is the number of amazing releases that the PS5 has planned, including Ghostwire Tokyo, Final Fantasy XVI, Horizon Forbidden West, Marvel's Spider-Man 2, God of War Ragnarok, and there's even more to come. So if you're a fan of the best single-player role-playing games in the market, PS5 is the best and most suitable console for you. While the Xbox doesn't have as many exclusives as the PS5 does, it does have its strength in the library of timeless franchises. If it's the first-person shooter experience from Halo is what got you into gaming, then you can also expect the same thing from the Xbox Series X. The new Halo Infinite offers the same great FPS gameplay that we all love, but it takes it up to a whole new level with the most expansive campaign so far and groundbreaking multiplayer features. Racing fans will also get to enjoy the latest Forza Horizon 5. And this title literally takes racing games to a whole new level by offering a rich and diverse open world for you to explore. There are also a ton of ways to customize race challenges and new game modes, so you're likely looking at the best racing game of the year. Any fans of Nintendo will know that the system offers a huge library of exclusives from its robust line of franchises, including Super Mario, The Legend of Zelda, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Super Smash Bros, and Kirby, and many, many more. Each of these franchises has great games that could easily steal Game of the Year. But that's what's great about Nintendo. It's the system that puts a lot of focus on the families as their target audience. And a lot of these games can be enjoyed by both parents and kids alike. Nintendo also pushes this idea further by offering a great variety of party games on the system. This includes Super Mario Party, Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros, Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. So if you're having an enjoyable family game night, if that's your thing, then you might want to consider getting yourself a Nintendo Switch. For all of the great features and high-end hardware that the PS5 and Xbox Series X offers, it shouldn't be a surprise that those consoles don't come cheap. The PS5 comes at a retailing price of $729, and it's worth noting that this only includes one controller. So you will have to spend about $99.9 .9 if you want to upgrade to a second controller, which most people would, right? You could also opt for a slightly more affordable PS5 digital edition priced at $599. However, just as its name suggests, this is only for players that are perfectly fine with just getting the digital copies of their games. The console has no disc slot whatsoever, so you cannot even put your PS4 games into your PS5 with this version. On the other hand, the Xbox Series X can be bought at the retailing price of $699, and in the same manner, it only comes with one controller. So you will have to top out about, it's more expensive, $160 for a second controller. For those that want a cheaper alternative, you may want to consider the Xbox Series S coming at the price of $459. The Series S offers most of the same features as its big brother, but it does so in a lesser scale. It has a gaming resolution of up to 1440p, instead of the Series' X 4K. It only has storage space of up to 512 gigabytes and has a lower end processor. Like the PS5 Digital Edition, the Xbox Series S also has no disk slot because it's only designed for digital games. However, for those that are eagerly deciding to get your PS5 or Xbox now, you may want to consider pre-ordering through one of your favorite retailers as there's a global stock shortage on these units currently. Pre-ordering them will place you on the store's queue list for this console and you can slowly save for your console while you wait for it to arrive. Nintendo also has a few options for you to choose from. Of course, there's the regular Nintendo Switch that comes with a pair of Joy-Cons and a docking station. And do note that there are two generations of these Switches that are available at retail shops. And this is the first version which was released in 2017. 
This usually retails about $359, but as it's the very first generation, there aren't many shops that still sell this. The second generation that boosts a much better battery life, about 4.5 to 9 hours with a better processor, and this is gonna run you up $459. And for those who don't need a docking function and you just want a portable console, you may wanna consider the more affordable Nintendo Switch Lite, priced at about $269. This version is slightly smaller and lighter than the original, purely designed as a portable console. While it does have a better battery life than the Gen 1, the Switch Lite is only compatible with certain multiplayer games. You can check on the back of the game's box to see if the games work in handheld mode, but you'll find that the Switch Lite is compatible with most games that are in the Nintendo Switch library. So it's not really an issue. Finally, if you want to take your portable gaming experience to the next level, you may want to consider getting the newest Nintendo Switch OLED. This features a bigger and more vibrant 7-inch OLED screen, all that with a great battery life and a processor that the Switch Gen 2 has. The Switch OLED also promises better audio on its onboard speakers than its predecessors. A built-in storage of 64 gigabytes, and it even has a LAN cable port on its docking station for faster internet speeds when you're playing online. The Switch OLED is now available at retail stores from about $529. Regardless of which console you get to choose or choose to get, you will still need a good broadband plan with reliable internet speeds at home so you can fully enjoy your gaming experience. ViewQuest has a great number of broadband plans that can fit every need, from basic one gigabyte per second plans with the latest Wi-Fi 6 routers, to plans with mesh systems that provide wall-to-wall -wall internet coverage, or even entertainment bundles that comes with the Prism Plus Q55 QE TV. So you can not only enjoy your gaming with the fastest internet speeds, but with the best 4K visual experience as well. If you've got a bigger family, you may want to consider the two gigabytes per second plan with the much wider bandwidth that these plans provide. You and your family can enjoy gaming and movie streaming all at the same time. To optimize your internet speeds even further, you may want to consider the Raptor Gamer plans. With the low latency connections that the plan offers, you can enjoy lag-free gaming straight at home, all day, every day. You can check out the plans via the link below. We hope you found this video useful and that it's helped you figure out which console is the best for you, because let's be honest, they're all great in their own ways. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one.